So I don't know if this is the beginning of my official birth vlog. Like the birth that I envisioned is like maybe not gonna happen. I can't taste anything. The most Stretch and sleep. Yeah, they go like right in there. And <laughs> I think we're gonna have a baby tonight. is officially my due date today. I'm 40 weeks pregnant, which is so crazy to say. I thought for sure this baby was gonna come early. I guess I was wrong. That's okay if you can hear. I've had a cold, honestly, this last month. It's kind of been a little rough. I had this like constant dry cough, pulled a muscle in my rib, so painful, oh my gosh. And then in the last week, I've just gotten really congested and I think I just have a cold. I feel okay. I just am nasally and congested, which I feel like everyone is right now. Also, I keep having to go into my hospital bag makeup bag because that's where all my makeup is, or at least my everyday one. Matt just took Cashew to the forest for a little walk. And then we have gymnastics for Seiji today. She's downstairs playing, so I'm just listening. It's nice that she's at the age where I can like leave for like two seconds. And sometimes I'll be like, Sage, what are you doing? Funny enough, this morning, not that long ago, I was starting to have some cramps and like achiness in my hips. And I'm like, hmm, wouldn't it be funny if baby came on its due date? I feel like the percentage is really low, like 5% or something of babies come on their due date. I could have made that up, but something low. Well, I figured if I did go into labor today, I'll have some nice light makeup on and my hair is freshly blow dried. I really don't know what this vlog is gonna be. It's either gonna be my birth vlog, if these cramps continue, or it's just gonna be what I did to induce labor during my last week of pregnancy. <laughs> we shall see. I'm not even doing a bra today because I'm like, any more pressure is too much. It's too much. Okay, so I'm wearing maternity jeans. Go all the way up. Maternity tank top, and then this is a sweater I got from Target when we were in Buffalo a couple weeks ago. We're gonna go, I'm gonna make some tea and get the day started. This girl's upset because those shoes are too small. I'm just making a red raspberry leaf tea before we go. It's like, please, I'm like, they won't fit. I'm gonna pack some of these gummy animals for after gymnastics. These are from the Toddler Health Nut Cookbook. I also put some elderberry syrup in them so they're good for cold and flu season. Oops. All right, let's go. Out for a little forest walk with Cashew and the baby. I just really wanted like fresh air and you know, when you've just been on the couch for too long and you feel like restless, I was feeling like that. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get outside, get some fresh air, get some steps in, hopefully help induce labor. <laughs> Not <laughs> Oh, I just peed my pants. That's so annoying. Damn it. Should have worn black pants. Not smart. Matt keeps being like, oh, just lay down and relax. Oh, we have lots of time. He's like cleaning the house, vacuuming, fluffing the couch. He's so cute. He's like, I just want to like come back to a nice clean house. Oh. One, two, three. Good morning. It's the next day. I just took a really nice hot shower. I'm just doing my skincare. Matt's going to the gym this morning, so I'm just getting ready quickly. I'm gonna do some yoga while I'm hanging out with Sage. Hopefully she lets me do it. Oh, I just took like the best hot shower where it's like really steamy and it just like clears out your sinuses. I'm feeling a lot better. Pretty much all day yesterday, I felt very achy. Baby might come today, I don't know. But nothing like picked up. It was just like, just an overall like, crampy, achy feeling, but it wasn't like coming and going, like there wasn't a pattern. I get asked a lot about my skincare, I'm using, they changed their name, it's Lucera now. I'll link them down below. They make beautiful, like organic, non-toxic skincare. I've been using them for years. They used to be called Luminance. Eye cream, I always do it like all around my eye. Give me hydration. They also have a really good face cream, but I've been really liking this Drunk Elephant one. It's thick but not oily or greasy. I don't know, just feels really nice. I like it. Bring it all the way down, a little lip balm. And then I keep getting questions about what I'm using on my belly. So I'll show you, actually this is one more product. Okay, oh wow, look at that belly. Oh, she big, or he big, I don't know. Products I've been using on my belly, 
same brand, Lucera, their body butter. Incredible, I've used this for years. And the owner actually told me that this was first created for pregnant bellies and to prevent like stretch marks and stuff like that. It's one of my favorite products from them. It's like a mousse, I'll show you. This is a new one, I just finished my old one. And then another one that I've been using is actually from my friend Joy's line, Joyous Health. It's her Ultra Moisturizing Body Butter. This one kind of smells like chocolate because it has cocoa butter in it. This one is a thicker balm, kind of like a shea butter, but it melts right in. I honestly just alternate every single night. I slather my body in body butter and then I put a magnesium balm on my legs and I'm just glistening in moisturizer. And I just do, do. Massage, so I feel like the trick is not just slathering it on, but actually massaging and getting on the sides. You get right down low. And I feel like it's a nice little massage for baby too. And then what I do use as well, I have a whole blog post on this. This is something I make, my blue belly oil. It's jojoba oil with some essential oils. Guys, I'm so out of breath today and I'll sometimes mix that in. Yeah, and that's what I've been using. I might try to also get an osteopath appointment today. I don't know, I feel like I could use one. I don't know why I didn't book myself like a prenatal massage this week. <laughs> Poor planning, okay. We are in the car. Sagey and Cash are in the back, and we're actually going to my mom's. Uh, Chloe's gonna watch Sage for a bit while uh, we go do some errands and shopping around and just, you know, hang out because I just don't want to sit at home and like think about do I have contractions yet? How am I feeling? Is there cramping? I just want to like be out doing things. Be out doing things, man. right? Oh. Can you help me with my seatbelt? Hi, Daddy. Hi, Sage. The things that you don't think about when you're pregnant. It's so hard to put seatbelts on. How are you feeling, Matt? Good. 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 I had a workout, so. Yeah, Matt good. had a workout. I had a yoga stretch. We are good to go, and we're bringing the hospital bag and diaper bag just in case. In the car seat. But I think we'll be fine. In the car seat, yeah. You know, but why? Why risk it? You never know. So tomorrow morning, we have an appointment with the midwife. They're gonna check to see how dilated I am. Last week, I was one centimeter, and then she's gonna check again, and then we're gonna do a stretch and sweep, so. Sounds, sounds invasive. <laughs> it is, yeah, it's not the most Stretch comfortable. Stretch and sweep. Yeah, they go like right in there. And... We should probably do a perennial stretch today. Yeah, we should. Oh yeah, I wanna talk about things that I'm doing to like prepare for birth and induce labor and perennial. Perineal. Perineal, perennial stretching is one of them. Perineal, I think. Per sure. Well, it's your perineum. It's a perineal then. Perineal. Perineal stretching, anyways. We're stretching my vagina. So what's happening but yeah i'll talk more about like what we're doing for like labor prep and stuff after but right now we're just having a chill sunday just dragging matt around shopping this is mostly my mom's stuff but i'm just like throwing random stuff in there just taking the bump for a shopping trip what do we have some tea stuff for sage i heard this bubble bath is good just random miscellaneous stuff Still pregnant. <laughs> my midwife called early this morning. She actually had to head to the hospital for another birth, not mine. And so our appointment got moved to 12.30. It doesn't get moved again or switched to another day because I am ready for the stretch and sweep. We're just out for a nature walk. We both had a good sleep. I'm not having any like pinching pain this morning, but baby's definitely like moved down. I'm guessing tomorrow, Tuesday. What's, what's your guess? I gotta Are go you ready? You know, I, I would like it to happen during the day. The sage, it was like a midnight baby, you know? And I was like, I feel like it'd be nicer if it happened after a good night's sleep. You wake up, you go to the, oh, contractions, you should go. Oh, let's go. And then, you know, like around noon, you have the baby, then you can just like hang out at the hospital, not be tired. That'd be nice. Is that too much to ask? We're gonna go to Midwife at 1230. Yep. And then maybe go to the mall and do some more. Oh yeah, we'll stick Walk around in. there because it's closer to the hospital we go to. So may as well hang around and see. I got everything in the car already. At that point, everyone's texting me. Baby here yet? Mm -hmm. I'm like, Leave me alone. nope. Like, if I walk like this, can't even see my feet. Oh, there it is. There it is. There Look. it is. Matt is 
setting up the breast pump. I haven't actually tried this one yet, but I'm really excited. It's the LV one. It's one that you actually wear. It's a portable one. We're also steaming some glass bottles. Matt's on steaming duty. I, on the other hand, I'm making some red raspberry leaf tea. Story of my life. Same, I feel like I've just been wearing the same thing all week. I don't even care at this point. I'm taking some tea to go, and my mom made me some veggie soup. It's not even 11, and I'm gonna have this. I'm like pretty hungry. I woke up at six. So I'm like, is it weird if I eat soup at 10.52? But I'm hungry, and I just want something like nourishing. So I'm gonna have that. Mm, this looks really good. I ordered these uh, silicone colostrum collectors off of Amazon. I don't know, I didn't do this with sage. I also didn't really have colostrum before I had sage, but this time I do. I've been told that it's just like easier to hand express than use a pump, because it's like so little and colostrum is thicker. Because I think what happens is like once you deliver the placenta, your body stops producing colostrum. Like you have the, the colostrum that you made for baby, but your body won't keep producing it. Like it'll start creating milk. So if you want to start collecting colostrum ahead of time to give baby, especially because it's cold and flu season, I don't know, we'll see if I have time to do that. Otherwise, baby will just get colostrum that I have. We'll see if the stretch and sweep works. She says, if it puts you into labor, it's usually within 24 hours. I'm not ready. Oh my God, I'm like nervous. <sighs> really should get my tripod, but I'm too lazy. I'm not lazy. I'm too pregnant to go get it. We are back from the midwife office having some lunch. We were going to go out to eat, but honestly, I just felt like homemade food. I was like, I just want soup and toast with cottage cheese and tomatoes and salt and pepper. Matt got these chips. What flavor are they? Fully loaded. Is that the flavor? I can't taste anything. Let me make my food and then we'll chat about the midwife appointment. Okay, so here's the update. Apparently I'm about the same amount dilated as I was last week, which is a little annoying, especially since I had a lot of cramping this past weekend. Uh, so I'm like one, maybe two centimeters dilated if she like really stretched it in there. Um, she did do a stretch and sweep, not as like much as she wanted to. I'm still like a little sore from it. I don't think I'm gonna go into labor from it. I don't know, I'm still thinking tomorrow. Maybe it starts tomorrow night, I don't know. She did instruct me to start taking evening primrose oil, both orally and we actually did that for when I was pregnant with Sage. And so I already bought it because I was gonna do it. So it can help like soften the cervix. And we're gonna do some uh, perineal stretching today. I don't know if I mentioned this yet on this vlog, but like basically perineal stretching is like stretching the outer like muscle of your hoo-ha. There's so many videos you can see online. Also, if you go see like a pelvic floor physiotherapist, they'll teach you how to do it. But it's something that we try to do every day or at least a few times a week. It takes like five minutes. And we just use coconut oil. After we do that, you prick a primrose oil capsule and you shove it up there right beside your cervix and it helps like soften it. And I'm trying to book an appointment to see the osteopath today just to help like with my rib pain that I've been having. Oh, thank you. Wow, this is a lot. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'll have a little bit of everything. We took leftovers from my mom's, can you tell? We have some chicken, sweet potato, potatoes. I'm gonna just, you'll eat what I don't eat. That's the update, so we'll see. I don't think baby's coming tonight. I can't taste anything. Oh, there might be the osteopath. Okay, perfect. I'll see you later. Got the osteopath appointment. We're good. Basically, I've just been feeling really tight in my ribs from the coughing and pulling that muscle. Osteopaths are amazing for opening up your diaphragm. Also, she can check to see if my hips are like in good alignment for birth. They're kind of like an RMT meets a Cairo. I don't know. I really like osteopaths. It's my preferred method. So I'm gonna eat and do that stuff that I told you about. Okay, I just got out of the osteopath and oh my goodness, night and day. If you guys have not been to an osteopath before, I can't recommend it enough. And I feel like I look like crap right now, but I don't care. I'm like way too pregnant. I went in there feeling like my diaphragm and like my rib cage was so tight just from like my cough. Oh, she worked on my opening things up, getting in like the knots and the muscle and the fascia between my ribs. And then also she worked on my legs and hips a bit. 
just to prepare for birth and like I can just breathe better I have more range of motion she was like oh yeah you're tight so glad I went she told me to go for a walk tonight so I'm probably gonna take Miss Cashew for an evening stroll which I'm sure she'll love Matt took Sage to swim so I'm gonna meet them back at the house I have no idea what we're doing for dinner but I just wanted to give you guys an update on my osteopath appointment because I feel like not not enough people know about them but they're so amazing highly recommend cinnamon croissant tippy eggs with bacon another day another forest walk trying to induce labor and get baby to come Whew. so much pressure Okay, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna even document this because I don't wanna be a Debbie Downer, but I know you guys have heard me like talk about that I've been dealing with some rib pain because I pulled a muscle from coughing. It seems like there's just like really bad cough going around and I've had it, I swear, for like over a month. When I first got it, I didn't even really feel sick and it's only really in the last like, like two weeks I feel like congested, but I've had this awful dry cough and then it's turned into like a phlegmy cough and Basically, the repetitive coughing has made me strain a rib muscle. I think it's called like intercoastal strain or something. When it first happened, I was really upset because I thought like there's no way I could go into labor right now. Like this is so painful. If you've ever had rib pain, it's like, I don't know, it's, it felt like it was broken. It was so painful. You know, I've been treating it. I've been going to the osteopath. I've been doing like hot cold therapy on it, arnica gel, like all the things. And I was feeling really good about it the last couple days. And then this morning, well, I went to reflexology, had an appointment this morning. Basically, it was like a foot massage. It was so relaxing. I really enjoyed it. And then I got back home and I basically started having like a coughing fit. And I was upstairs. We were actually just about to head out the door. And I started having a coughing fit and I legit felt like a pop in my ribs again, which makes me so sad because like, yeah, the pain's coming back again and I don't know if it's like as bad as it was before. I just got really upset about it so I've just been like kind of sulking and crying a lot because I just feel like the birth that I envisioned is like maybe not gonna happen and by that I just mean I just like don't feel 100% like I'm congested. My rib hurts so much. I've been looking up like stretches and stuff on YouTube to do. It's just such bad timing because I'm 40 weeks and four days now pregnant and the thought of trying to do a natural birth with like this pain is just really upsetting me and I know like I could do an epidural but like even just like like dealing with this cough and the rib pain the congestion like when I'm about to go into birth is just like a lot mentally so I've just been really upset about it we have a baby on the way and like everyone keeps like messaging me like how you feeling like like baby here yet you just have this big due date coming up and you just want to feel like 100% your best and like when you're not it's just like really upsetting so I just feel like I've been in like kind of a depressed mood about it I'm just trying to like stay positive and I'm like just chilling on the couch with the heat pack on my side I might take a Epsom salt bath later and just like relax and not just try not to focus on like oh I might go into labor tonight it's just like what will be will be and like everything happens for a reason but like it's just really bad timing and I'm already like a little nervous about birth because I've done it before and like I second guess myself constantly if like I could do it again I just like want baby to be here the hard part too is like like I'm dealing with this stuff like emotionally and physically and like I still have another child to like be a mom to so I just feel guilty I'm excited for the new baby but I'm also excited to like feel like myself again and like be able to have the energy and stuff to like be a mom to Sage because like I'll see her and Matt playing and like <laughs> and I just can't like get involved because like I'm just so pregnant and tired and like I just like physically can't like get up and down as fast and even though I'm feeling good pregnant it's like there's just certain things she's like mommy like catch me run with me like get on the floor like she wants to like play with me and I just like I can't and I know it's like a small part of her life but it's just upsetting so I just I don't know if any of this is making sense but 
honestly, I'm like in no rush for this baby to come at this point because I just want to feel better. So everyone keeps being like, oh, baby's not here yet. But part of me is like, it's okay because I don't feel 100% and I kind of just want a little bit more time. I'll see you guys later. Look at Matt, put my camera in the, is my vlog camera in the car? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've got diaper bags and hospital bags in the car, ready to go. We're not going to the hospital, but uh, we are heading out, so we're just like bringing the stuff with us. So it is currently Friday, October, whatever, I don't know, 20th. Still pregnant. I decided to put a dress on, do my makeup. We were actually supposed to have a midwife appointment today at 12 to check on baby and do like another stretch and sweep, but our midwife is actually in another birth right now, so she doesn't obviously know how long it's gonna be. It got canceled, it's, we're on on-call. It'll either be later today or this weekend. She said she'll connect with us, but I still want to get out of the house, so we're gonna go to the mall, walk around, buy things we don't need, maybe do some early Christmas shopping. I'm, I'm in good spirits. I had an emotional day yesterday dealing with this congestion and stuff but i'm feeling a lot better today i'm ready just to like move my body i did some stretches this morning got my red raspberry tea matt just does anything i want to do if i'm like i want to go to mall and go shopping he's like okay i want to go to this restaurant okay mm. all right well let's go okay we gotta go okay so we just ran into the sweetest subscriber we're at uh sage well she actually came up to matt first and then Matt's like, she's right there, go say hi. And she came and said hi and like honestly made my day. It was so sweet. She actually said that I was the one that convinced her uh, to do a natural birth for her first. And then I started tearing up and then we hugged. It was, it was an emotional meet and greet. I always say, if you guys see me, come say hi. And you guys will make my day, trust me. Um, so I felt like that was kind of meant to be because I'm just like very pregnant and trying to encourage myself to do a natural birth again. So I felt like I needed to hear that. Yeah. Back from the mall, update. At the mall I got so many Braxton Hicks contractions. Now I feel like I'm getting like, could be like early labor contractions, could just be cramping, but it's like starting here and kind of radiating out. I just noticed them in the drive on the way home. I was like, huh crampy so who knows it's one of those things like early labor can be like days hours we don't know okay let me show you what we bought at the mall from sage this is their muscle melt i love this stuff this just feels so good on your back or achy muscles we also got some stuff from h&m just some onesies for baby i got these with sage and i really like them old navy i've been sleeping on it why don't i go there more often for sage's clothes so cute. I didn't buy too much stuff, but Matt found some stuff for Sage. All she wants to wear right now is dresses. She loves the tulle. Pink one. And then I also got, oh, she's gonna love these. She's such a girly girl and I just think it's so cute. These little like ballet flats. And then for baby, I got two things. My first Christmas. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a little crampy. I don't know. I just got a neutral little sweater that we can layer on baby in case it's cold. And that was our haul. Hey, if it got me into labor, it was well worth it. I'm gonna add this into my little postpartum cart. I'm gonna do a whole video on like TikTok or Instagram of what's in here, but isn't she cute? All ready for postpartum. I'm actually in the nursery right now. There's a little sneak peek. I'm gonna do a whole like nursery tour after baby comes. I was gonna do it before, but it just wasn't enough time. Still getting cramps. Room is so cute, it's ready to go. All we need is a little baby. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that laundry in and then relax a bit before we have to get saved from daycare. All right, we are at the midwife office. Hopefully the last time before this baby comes out. We're actually gonna do another stretch and sweep. This is gonna be my second one. I've been feeling so many like Braxton Hicks contractions this week. I lost my mucus plug and I've just been like crampy on and off. I'm really hoping I'm a little bit more dilated, which I know doesn't mean like you're gonna go into labor early. I think it means like my body is prepping and things are progressing. Thank you, sir. That stretch and sweep was intense. And I did have some bloody show. Uh, she said it was a good sign. So apparently I am almost three centimeters dilated. We did a stress test or non-stress test or something. Everything's looking good. We did book a couple of ultrasounds next week and we did push my induction day a little bit. So I just feel like Tuesday is coming up too fast. <laughs> You're like, I don't want it. No, I don't want it. 
Friday. Yeah, Friday. Friday's like a day before I go 42 weeks. I do, she's like, I don't think you're going to get to Friday. And I was like, yeah, me either. So we just got home from my mom's. I got a stretch and sweep today at the midwife office. And it's currently 9 p.m. on Saturday night. And I've been having, I'd say like period like cramping slash early labor contractions for the last hour i'd say maybe more matt just went upstairs to go shower and stuff a part of me was wondering if we should stay at my mom's because it's closer to the hospital we're going to but also like these early labor like contractions i don't know if that's what it is that i'm experiencing they can last like hours like they could last 24 hours two days so you don't really want to like react too quickly and be like oh this it's like tonight it's gonna happen i don't know it's weird because last time with sage i got the contractions in the morning so like we just kind of went about our day as per usual, like went to the like shopping, went for a walk, like it was just kind of a normal day. Where now it's nine o'clock at night, we just put Sage down for bed. She's already passed out in the car. It's kind of like this, you know, try to get some sleep while I'm having contractions. So I don't know, I'm gonna chill out, get ready for bed, see if I can get some sleep. I might be able to, they're not like super strong, but they're definitely different than what I've experienced so far this pregnancy. So I don't know if this is the beginning of my official birth vlog, number two, which is so crazy, but I wanna explain the sensations I'm getting. For those of you who are watching, you wanna know, I'm gonna explain it as like, it feels like a balloon at the bottom of my belly, kind of like in your groin, that is expanding. So it's like this balloon, and as the contraction proceeds, it starts to kind of like fill up and create more pressure and feel larger. And then as it calms down, it kind of, go, the balloon goes back down. Does that make sense? That's how I can best describe them. They are like cascading to my hips a little bit, but not super intense. And it's kind of just like a period cramp, but building like that balloon. So I guess that's why they call it contractions. It's like, you know? <laughs> So anyways, I'm gonna bring up my stuff upstairs. We have all of our bags. You can't see them. They're all lined up behind us. If things progress tonight, then we'll just wake up Sage and bring her to my mom's. And then they're gonna go to my aunt's so I can labor at my mom's and be closer to the hospital. So everyone's really awesome and like, we have it planned out. Hopefully that's how it works. I feel like it's looking low. Whew. Looks like a basketball. All right, we're gonna do our perineal stretching one last time, hopefully, and do the primrose oil, and then I'm gonna get ready for bed. And by that, I mean watch cake decorating videos on YouTube until I fall asleep. Literally every night, I slather my calves and feet in magnesium balm. I get really bad restless legs when I'm pregnant. I'm like, am I getting a contraction? Wait, do I want a snack? I kind of want a bowl of cereal. No baby yet. Mommy, mommy. Help you? You do it. You, you can do it. Here, let's bring this closer to you. What? I'm having scrambled eggs yeah. with cottage cheese and strawberries. You do it. I can't. You can. No. Whoa. I honestly thought for sure last night was going to be the night baby came. But no, baby's teasing. There you go. Sage made her own cereal this morning. She already had some avocado toast. I had some toast too. This is our second breakfast. It's kind of my third because I had a peanut butter and jelly wow. sandwich at 3 a.m. Choo, choo, choo. I think I already mentioned. Yeah, I was having a lot of contractions last night for probably about three hours. And then we were able to go to sleep and then stopped. Okay, Sage is taking her dress off. So anyways, Matt went to the gym this morning. It's 10 a.m. and nothing yet. So I think we're gonna go to the mall today, do some walking around and see if contractions pick up again. Matt took my camera to the car. He's packing it up. It is currently 2.30 in the morning. I've been having consistent contractions since 
right when I was falling asleep. They're getting closer together, more intense. Um, so we are actually heading to my mom's right now. I called my doula. She's gonna meet us there. I just, I have a feeling like things are gonna go quicker this time, so I didn't wanna wait too long. But I'm making a tea, filling up my water bottle. I think we're gonna have a baby tonight. <laughs> Baby club. The last three have been less than five minutes. When you're going through them, they feel really intense. And then when you're in between them, you're just like a normal person. You can talk. Okay, I'm definitely getting achiness like in my lower back and hips, but yeah, we gotta go. I'm, I'm getting worried that things are picking up. <sighs> My thoughts exactly. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, I'm tired too. Update. So we definitely thought we were going to have a baby last night. At around like 4.30, things just started to die down. And here we are. We just left the hospital because we had an ultrasound booked this morning anyways. Um, I'm still having contractions, but they're much more mild, like early labor contractions. A lot of acid reflux. Oh. So we did ultrasound. We did blood work. We did a stress test. Stress test went good. We'll get our results for the blood work and ultrasound from our midwife. First off, the nurses are so nice. Like I'm there, I'm laying doing the stress test, which is like a 20 minute thing that they monitor you at. And they're like, do you want a popsicle? chocolate milk or muffin <laughs> I'm like, I just got water but it was so sweet guys uh, this baby's never coming out but no, I feel I like it's all progression yeah it's yesterday was was like a big indicator that's like oh yeah like your body was already starting to prep yeah yeah we're both tired we did get some sleep well Matt like oh, it's like on and off it was you know it's hard to sleep when you're like think a baby's on the way any minute you're yeah like, tell me okay. about it yeah exactly I felt so bad too because I woke everyone up last night and then nothing. No one, no one cares. Everyone just wants the baby to come out healthy and happy. So I don't think it's an issue. Yeah, you just feel guilty. You're like, sorry guys, I thought it was real labor. It was like, it definitely was strong labors, like labor contractions. Like I had to breathe through it. We'll see, is October 23rd gonna be the day? Oh, fun fact, today Scorpio season starts. So this baby is officially a Scorpio. Mm. We have two Scorpios. We're doomed. I thought we we're gonna have a Libra. Although I was a crazy child too, so I don't know if Libras are easier, so. And then everyone's like, oh, are you getting induced? I'm like, no, the baby's coming today, guys. The baby is coming today. Ah, <sighs> oh, the baby's teasing us. Mm -hmm. 